Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and uh, I was talking about the speed of my install on my two machines, my Windows 10 and Windows 11 machine of uh, the Patch Tuesday updates, and many of you are um, talking about the speed, but many of you have included the download time speed, and that, in, in when I talk about the speed of install, for the most part, I will talk about the real install phase itself. Uh, download, because I had a question about that also, because someone said it took f four hours for him to download the update. So he was wondering if his system has problems. Um, not really, not necessarily. Uh, here what happens with Windows is that depending on your internet connectivity, the speed of your internet connection, and also how um, much uh, solicited is the uh, artist servers at Microsoft for the download of files. It can vary in speed. And so having a download that when you go to, or an update that is in the download process and it takes a long time, it can happen. Uh, so that's not, you know, a problem uh, for me. If, if, if At least if it downloads and it finishes by at one point installing on your PC, even if it took a few hours, because that download phase from there, it it really doesn't impact anything on your uh, computer. You can continue using it, you just leave it alone. And like I said, there are several things that can make that change. It could even be because there are other things happening on your network, so the download might slow down or even halt if your PC is busy doing something else. Uh, there are different factors that make that download process at different speed, depending on uh, the computer you have. The speed that I talk about is really the speed of the install process, which is really the restart. When we install Windows updates, it's the restart part that installs the updates. The first part that's, that says installing, it actually will place all the files that it's needed um, where it can, it will do the best it can to, uh, you know, create all the, the, the folders and, and do all the things it needs to do. And the last phase, the restart, will do what it can't do while Windows is running, and then just restart to make sure that, you know, for example, do file changes or change, you know, sometimes delete and copy a new new version of uh, Windows, um, you know, system file and so on. That is really the part where it's, you know, uh, the install phase is important. Um, that will, of course, vary depending on how old your PC is and how, um, and how uh, the, the, your hard drive is an SSD or a standard mechanical hard drive. Uh, but one thing for sure, every time somebody tells me, you know, even on old PCs, I mean, I installed the updates on my unsupported 10-year-old machine that has an old mechanical hard drive. And the install process itself took much less than... The install plus the restart, I don't think it took more than half an hour. Um, it is not normal for a computer to take several hours to install Patch Tuesday updates. When that is the case, something is not right with your system. Windows updates do not take several hours on the install phase. And I'm not talking, once again, of the download. Don't count the download in there. It's not important. Um, really, the uh, time should be counted mostly at the restart when you can't use your PC. That should be fairly quick, 5, 10, 15 minutes maybe. My uh, unsupported 10-year-old laptop, the restart process didn't even take five minutes. So it tells you that when your system is running right, it shouldn't be that long. Um, once again, if you have several hours of install of it updates, there's definitely something that's not right on your computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.